Welcome to my channel Data Analytics and Artificial Intelligence News. Today I would like to show you how to generate insights from data with ChatGPT and Python. We will see which necessary packages do we need in Python to use then the API of uh, ChatGPT, especially OpenAI. We will see how to generate a key, how to set up the code, how to integrate Excel data into Python to use this as a source for the uh, insights which we would like to collect from ChatGPT. Let's start. If you would like to use OpenAI and ChatGPT in Python, you need to install some dependencies, as I mentioned, um, for, uh, for the Python environment. I installed Anaconda in front on my PC and what we need to do now is to check if we have all dependencies installed, installed which are needed to use ChatGPT. At first, let's check if we have Pandas installed. This is necessary to work with data frames. Let's check. With PIP install pandas, the system collects all the required information and checks if you have this already installed or if you need to update them. Pandas is installed on my PC because you see the requirement already satisfied. Let's check or install the OpenAI part with PIP install OpenAI. With this command, you install the OpenAI components and packages to Python that you can use it afterwards. You see this also installed on my PC, otherwise it would be installed if you do not have this installed. As I mentioned, I would like to use Excel as a source for data sets. For that, we need to, need to have another extension or package installed, which is the OpenPYXL. Uh, With this package, you can consume XLSX files directly within Python, and the headers and rows will automatically load it, assigned, and you can work further with those um, data frames then. This is a package which is also open source. You can install it via the PIP install open PYXL command. I installed this already in front. And after execution of these three commands, you have everything installed, which are necessary to go further. On one hand side, we have installed the pandas for data frames, the OpenAI for using JetGPT, and the open PYXL to import Excel files from um, your PC or another location into Python. OK, let's start. I create already a file within Jupyter Notebook, which we would like to use for the code. Uh, and we can test within Jupyter everything what we need. Let's name it. Um, Jupyter Notebook book for chat G oh, GPT. <coughs> okay. What we need to do first is to import all the packages we need for our scenario. At first, we would like to import the pandas environment to use data frames. Pandas package. The second package we need is like mentioned, the open the open PYXL package for Excel integration. 
self integration. Last but not least, oh, at first let's let's copy it in, otherwise it will not work. This is the right one. Oh, sorry, this is the installation of the um, the package. This is not necessary because it's included in in uh, the cent central package and do not need to declare here. Not ne needed to to import. But we need another one. We need to import the JSON package that because we would like to work with the JSON. And of course, the last but not least, but the important one is. Um, the open AI package, which is imported via this command. Okay, let's save and execute. You see everything's executed and now the packages are loaded. What I did is I uh, create an, an, yeah, an short function before. Yeah, the, this function JetGPT response um have has two parameters one is user entry and the max tokens user entry is the essential part because this is a part which we would like to hand it over to the um to the request against the api poor um api url for openai this is uh, this was a test. This is this is not needed. We can command it out. We lose use the model GT, GPT um, 2.3. We include the messages as uh, as um, the request part, and this function will return hopefully a great message for us afterwards. Let's execute everything done. Okay. Now what we would like to do is. We would like to use the um, the um, Excel file as a source, as mentioned. For that, I have one command line, which is this one. Yeah. With PD, I read the Excel file from my personal drive, and this is then put directly into a data frame. What we can do is we can display the data frame to see what the content is afterwards, after the after loading this Excel file. I save it and let's check. Here we have a lot of uh, customer with customer name, category, the sum of costs, the sum of sales, and the margin. And the Excel file looks like this. Let me show it to you how the Excel file look like. This is the Excel file. Uh, looks like the same. We have customer with the respective customer name, a category, the sum of costs, the sum of sales, and the margin. Uh, that means every category of one customer has different costs, a margin, a margin, and uh, uh, sum of sales. The margin is only a calculation formula between these both columns. But you see, this is received well in Python. Okay, now we have everything available which is needed to create the user entry, the user entry for the open air request. Let's ask the question, what is the best category uh, of customer 40? Uh, then we will this is the question and i add with this command data frame to json the orientation records put this data into the user request to chat chat gpt with the with the with the call of the function get chat gpt response user entry it means this one here I hopefully get the response. 
But what I see, what I forgot is uh, we need to have an API key also available. I will show you how to get the API key from, uh, from shared GPT. With this command, I assign or create a variable in this environment, but we need to create them the, the key first within chat GPT. Therefore, we launch the openai.com website. With the button login, you need to create a user or you have one user, then you um, can launch the website directly. But if you do not have a user, you can create one. By clicking API, you will get the uh, the main screen of the of the documentation, the API reference, but also you have the possibility to on the left side with the mouse over menu, you can see then the API keys. Uh, this is also one I created before. I do not know. I do not need that, this. But let's create a new one. Create a new one. I name it to tutorial. And by clicking create key, the key is displayed. You can copy it out via uh, control C or via this button. If you have this copied, then you can go you to your Python code, copy it in. And by clicking this one, this variable will be filled. Let's, uh, let's do the update here. Also for that, that we are in line. And also what we uh, have here now, this is a question we had. We call this function with this user entry here and receive the response. But let put, let's put the response into or um, print out the response, what, what we are hopefully getting from chat GPT after analyzing those data records. Let's execute. You see it's executing and now the system gives us back the information. Again, um, this group, the question was, what is the best category of customer 40? Let's check manually. 40, what is the best category? Okay, by checking again, here we see the customer 40. The best category is based on the margin here, recognize, or oh, there is a margin. Now that the margin is 90, around 93%. That means it's a great, great category for that customer with a high, high margin. Let's ask another question. Um, <coughs> customer 10, what is the best category um, of margin uh, of customer 10 based on some of Sales. Let's see what the outcome is here. You see it's running and now he analyzes the category for the customer 10 and he finds the right record with the, with the highest value of sales. Now you saw how you can integrate data into Python by, um, from Excel. You build up a data frame based on that. You did a request against chat GPT or open AI and get a response based on your specific question. Hopefully you, you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed the scenario. And um, if I would like, uh, I'm, I'm happy if you can subscribe my channel. Stay tuned, have a great day, bye.